Tom Hartman. Visit TomHartman.com for audio and video archives. Defending America from the weapons of mass deception. I'll be right back. And welcome back. Mark Taylor Canfield in Seattle. Hey, Mark, what's on your mind today? Hi, Tom. I have another new music video called Trumped. Mixing more of his crazy remarks with my original music, and that's available at my YouTube channel. And it's way past time for the United States to have a female president. I mean, Indira Gandhi was a prime minister in in India back in 1966. The UK had Margaret Thatcher. Germany had Angela Merkel and Benazir. Bhutto was the first woman elected to head a democratic government in a Muslim-majority country in 1988. So what are we waiting for? Yep. But... Having said that, if Terrace wants to sustain the support of progressives and young people, she's got to work for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza. As of today, the Committee to Protect Journalists reports that at least 134 journalists and media workers were among tens of thousands killed in Gaza, the West Bank, Israel, and Lebanon since the war began, making it the deadliest period for journalists since CPJ began gathering data in 1992. So 126 Palestinians... Two Israeli and six Lebanese reporters and media workers have been killed. 41 journalists were reported injured. Two have been reported missing. 71 journalists have been arrested. And, Tom, these numbers do not include the multiple assaults, threats, cyber attacks, censorship, and killings of family members of reporters. So we've the United States has got to use its influence to stop Israel's policies towards Palestine. Israel has been added to the Committee to Protect Journalists' Global Impunity Index of countries who are not being held accountable for the deaths of journalists. Israel has denied it directly targets journalists in the war, but has a long-standing record of killing journalists with military fire. Yeah. And given the challenges of documenting the war, the number of murder, murdered journalists may be much higher than we know at this point. You can read more about this desperate situation for, for reporters in Gaza at cpj.org, where the Committee to Protect Journalists has been keeping track of these statistics. You can also check out my articles and podcasts at democracywatchnews.org. But bottom line, Tom, journalists and media workers should not be targeted by military or police forces for doing their jobs to inform people about what's going on. I agree. And Israel's been doing this for, out there. for well over a year now you know, intentionally, uh, apparently shooting journalists. I mean, we've got some of it on videotape. Uh, it is a horror show. Mark, thank you.